Welcome, everyone, to The Planet's Local Outbreak on 100.1, The Planet, New Hampshire's Modern Rock. Matt Connerton from IPMNation.com here in the RageRockRadio.com studio. And I'm sitting here with two of the members of, let me make sure I get the name right, <laughs> Captain Chet Lawson's Snake Oil Review. Well done. That is a long name for two people. But there's actually three of you, correct? The, there are three. The drummer is uh, unfortunately sick today, yes. So he stayed home. Tell me your names. Who are you guys? I'm Rob Kleiner. <laughs> I'm Matt Rosenberg. <laughs> cool. Well, <laughs> Rob and Matt, pick a track. We're going to lead off with a song here, and then we'll come back and talk for a bit. I'm dying to know more about this extremely long name and all that stuff. But what do you guys want to play? How about the Forgetting Song? Yeah, that one's good. The Forgetting Song. The all forgetting right. The Forgetting Song. This is the Forgetting Song from, what's the name of your band again? <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Chet, Chet Lawson's Lawson. Snake, Snake Oil, Oil Review. Review. Very good on the planet's local outbreak. And I one, get two, get three, get I just get it all the time. I call you on the telephone, but I just waste my time. And anyway, I can't recall your name or your phone number like a suicidal cult. It's getting so hard to remember. Local Outbreak on the Planet, 100.1, New Hampshire's Modern Rock. Matt Connerton is sitting here with two of the members of Captain Chet Lawson's Snake Oil Review. Did you, I get you it right? Did, you, you got it right. right. Congratulations. And you don't even have it written down in front you of you. You get the I, prize. I, I do. I get the prize. Well, so I'm sitting here with Rob and Matt. Tell me, what is with the incredibly long, cumbersome band name? I I don't know. I think... Uh... Talking to the mic, please. Uh, <laughs> Talking into the mic, I think uh, we, just we, wanted something we, we were interested in developing a mythology along with the music, you know, yeah. uh, in, invoking like the idea of like a snake oil, you know, medicine show. Unfortunately, medicine show was taken by Dr. Hook. Yeah. So we couldn't call it <laughs> Captain Chet Lawson's medicine show. Right. But Shel Silverstein is our primary songwriter. That's really? a lie. <laughs> <laughs> is this an actual character, Captain Chet Lawson, that you've developed? Or is it well, more just kind of a broad it, concept? It, it's, a, it's a spiritual being, I think, in the way that Jay Giles' band invoked J Joint Jimmy. Mm -hmm. So do we invoke <laughs> Captain Chet Lawson. <laughs> we do? Indeed, we do. <laughs> invoke him now. Um, really? No. He's been invoked. Well, he's, he's here. He's, he's, really? not, he's not a real He's character. not real. We'll get that out. Not in your mind. No. Oh. All he's right. Sad. Well, how'd you come up with this, Captain Chet Lawson? I think it was the name more so than the character. I think we just, uh, you know, we started jamming on some hillbillyish type punk sort of music and decided we'd come up with a hillbillyish punk name. And Chet is, you know, is yeah 
punk as you can get, I guess. <laughs> sure. <laughs> or as Ab- hillbilly. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I, and, I've known you guys forever, and for the longest time, you were known as Senator Watley. Yes. Indeed, we were. Yeah. Why the new name? We were going a different direction than mm-hmm. what Senator Watley was doing. Senator Watley was, you know, a real... Uh, Adolescent. Yeah. <laughs> lots of um, potty humor. Yes. and It was really about performance yeah. more so than music. You yeah. know, during our stage shows, we'd have go-go dancers and people air drumming and all that sort of stuff with Senator Wilde. And we're getting away from that. We're doing uh, actual, actual songs. bands with, uh, with real songs now. So are you trying to be more serious now? Because with Senator Watley, your songs were very funny. Are you? Are I think you there's to be... still an element of humor. I think we're doing, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to tap into a more like traditionalist vibe, like early American folk music and country, and uh, actually covering some old, old like lead belly tunes and stuff like that. And I think our originals kind of try to mimic that vibe as well. So I, I, I guess it's more serious, but it's Unless still kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more mature, but there's still an element of humor. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. gonna, you'll laugh. There'll be something funny in each, you will laugh. each song. <laughs> I will <laughs> or laugh. we'll kill you. <laughs> I will laugh. <laughs> we know how to hide bodies. Yeah. I understand. Now, what do you guys each do in the band? I sing and play guitar. I sing and play the banjo lele and musical saw. Really? Yes. The banjo lele is kind of a cross between a banjo and a ukulele. Uh-huh. And the musical saw is uh, self-explanatory. I play it with a bow, like a violin. What about the harmonica? You used to pull out a harmonica. I played a lot of harmonica. We'll probably bring the harmonica into the Chet Wasson and stuff. We haven't yet, but... Uh... But I, I, yeah, we'll we'll say tentatively yes. <laughs> really, <Yeah. laughs> it's one of those things that was you know, a mainstay of the Senator Watley mm-hmm. show, and I think that's uh, something that we're, tr- we're not that we're trying to get away from Matt playing the harmonica because he's amazing at it. And I, I, um, but uh, you know that's a sound that sort of is, is associated with Senator Watley, I think. And you have a third band things. member who's yes. not here. Yes, Ricky. he's sick. Ricky, yes. and he's so fine. <laughs> he's so what? Fine, fine. Yes, he's so fine. He blows my mind. Wow, on the skins, yes. Are you? Is, is that a reference to, to the Tony Mickey Baffle? song, or are you actually coming out here on the show? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily coming out. I do think it's okay to be heterosexual and fabulous. Um, <laughs> I do think he is fine, um, but uh, 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 I, 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 no, I'm, I'm still way, way in. Um, but uh, he's our drummer, and uh-huh. uh, he, he's, he's just a fantastic guy. Yes, yes. <laughs> To, to be admired for his musicality be admired for, for a variety of reasons. reasons he's one of the the best drummers that we've we've ever played with 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 Senator Watley we went through a number of drummers just saying you know we don't want you anymore it like a isn't real life spinal out. tap but uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> we had a few blow up yes at yeah. shows but uh with Ricky he's 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 great he does you know what we tell him to do really yes. yeah yeah you know a lot Which of drummers tough to find yeah. in a drummer Honestly, no offense to any drummers out there. I know they all listen to the Planet Planet Drum, Mickey Hart. That's our, that's our primary demographic, actually, is drummers. That's true. You've obviously seen the research. Now, you guys uh, are you guys the primary songwriters, as in Senator Wally, and then he does he literally just do what you tell him, and you guys write the tunes and pretty well, much. Yeah, we Matt and I take turns writing songs and singing songs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If if Ricky wrote a song. Um, which he's more than welcome to do. We would definitely give it a fair hearing before we rejected it altogether. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's very big of you. Very open-minded. We'd still reject it, but we'd yeah. listen first. Well, obviously. <laughs> that, that, it, it goes on the, the B-Sides and Oddities collection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Odds and Sods, I think, is the official name. Well, good. <laughs> um, is it an adjustment playing with a drummer? Or, I mean, is it, it is it any kind of a challenge? Well, because you guys were just doing the. It was just the two of you for so long. For a long time. It, it's actually. It's not that it's hard. It's just really different. Because Matt and I have been playing since '96 or '95 yeah. together. You know, uh, uh, for a number of years. So we feed off each other. And if one of us starts to go off rhythm, well, the other one fo- follows it mm-hmm. without even really thinking about it. Now that we have a third person in there, we need to really make sure that we're staying in time and yeah. not just, you know, goofing off. Yeah, we used to change time signatures frequently with Senator Watley. It was another kind of uh kind of kind of, kind of what we did. Yeah. I think uh, you know, until <laughs> We'd go from a seven-four time signature into a three-four time signature at a different tempo. Yeah, it was like who in parked one beat. the car? I did. Who parked the car? <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's tough to impart that to a drummer. <laughs> 
Oh, I hear you. <laughs> That's because I'm sitting right here. Yes, and I am not completely deaf. <laughs> well, all right, I want to hear another song. What do you guys want to play? Yes, you do want to hear another song. <laughs> please, pretty please. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> Is that the name of the song, Please, Pretty Please? It's the name of the no, song. It's what you have to really say Really how we'll I feel right now. Really? Yeah. That's remarkable. <laughs> yes, as I'm currently remarking. All right, uh, please, so. Please, pretty please, hit it! <laughs> Great, there's the intro for the song No, I don't have to say your long name You already took care of that, thank you <laughs> On the planet 100.1 <laughs> Local Outbreak, 100.1 New Hampshire's Modern Rocks, in here in the RageRockRadio.com studio with two-thirds of, ooh, he's holding up the CD for me, Captain Chet Lawson's Snake Oil Review. You got it. I did. Twice. That's three for three, actually. Oh, is it three for three? You win. Well, that, that, that doesn't count because you held up the CD for me. The only one that really counts was the one where I was able to do it without looking. Right. So, I should have reviewed the rules. Yes. How many songs do you guys have as far as original music that you've written at this point? Because you guys have been together for, what, since 96? Right. Are, 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 you, are you asking how many songs have actually been written or how many are good? Uh, both. 
That's a tough question. One. <laughs> one that's been good? Yes, and then a okay. hundred or so. Yeah. Something. I think right now, as, as you mentioned earlier in the interview, um, and as it will go down in the records, um, we had been Senator Watley before we were Chet Lawson. So I think a big part of what we're trying to do now is seeing which of our old Senator Watley songs would fit into the Chet Lawson milieu. Um, so it's a little <laughs> experimenting, mixing and matching. What is the criteria for, for the Senator Watley songs to fit with what you're doing now? I think uh, we're really uh, looking for kind of a traditional early American vibe, Mm -hmm. almost. A song that sounds like you're locked in a shack, drinking some moonshine, Mm -hmm. going a little blind. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So music we can all relate to. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) At least everybody in this room can relate to it. Certainly. Well, not me. I have 20-20 vision. Okay. But I have been locked in a shack. We've heard enough from you. (laughs) Yeah. Now, what do you guys do for covers? Because you, do you do some covers currently? Well, I know you used to. I, I think the, the probably the only covers that people would know is uh, Sunday Morning Coming Down, um, Chris Christopherson, and... Mm-hmm. Made famous by Johnny Cash. We yeah. have a couple covers of... Well, I wouldn't say they're Johnny Cash covers because he didn't write them either, but covers of songs made famous by John, Johnny Cash. Mm-hmm. Cocaine Blues, for example. Can you that, say that on the radio? Of course we can. Blues. <laughs> okay, it's probably all right. Clapton had a hit with a song. Yeah, called indeed Boston. he did. Which now, excuse me for a second. <laughs> hey, whatever gets you Is through. Is that your sinuses so you don't <laughs> cry? Some weeks I want to do that too, you know? I understand. Yes. So now you you mentioned for those are some covers people would know. Do you also do some really obscure covers that people wouldn't necessarily know our covers when you play them? Yeah, there's like an old, old folk song that we do called uh, Leather Wing Bat. Mm-hmm. I have no idea where it came from. Um, I have uh, an album by a, a, a kind of a blues folk guy named Spider John Corner, who used to be a bigger name than he is now, and uh, he did the song, and I liked it, so I learned it, and now we do it. And then songs like Good Night Irene, which is yeah. um, probably a song that, that people's yeah. grandparents oh, yeah. liked. Yeah, but... yeah. <laughs> do you guys play out a lot? Are you doing a lot of shows, or are you more focused on recording right now? Well, right now, what we're you know we're uh, focusing on recording and also getting our our drummer up to speed. Because although Matt and I have been playing for years together, Ricky is a new addition to the band. Mm-hmm. So just making sure that he's up to speed. We do have a gig coming up in June, an yeah. outdoor festival. Yes, yeah, so the twenty sixth. Uh, I think 20- so. It's okay. called Go Local. Okay. 2010 um, performed on the B. Arthur Memorial stage thank you for being a friend and uh, that's actually not my joke it was on the website <laughs> really yeah oh. that is the name of the stage yes. that is the name of the stage I think it's the second annual or yeah. third annual she was so hot um, but I like I tall women yeah absolutely then came Maud but yeah then uh, came Maud <laughs> Lady Godiva was a freedom rider and then came Mod. I just heard that song for the first time yesterday. It's not like it's weird that you're now talking That's about that. It's real. It was wow. On, it was on like the uh, the TV. Are all you comes a full genius? circle. Genius. Yeah, so so that's <laughs> June June twenty sixth. So it yes. sounds like a big deal. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's there, relatively there's big a, there's deal. There's a number it's, of bands. It's that kind are of like playing. the Senator Watley coming out party. We are debutantes in this. Or well, Chet Lawson party. That is, <laughs> <laughs> you know, whichever. Wow. You can call us Senator Wally. Oh, well, oh, yeah, well, Senator well Wally. played. <laughs> yes. It's tough. Well, it's tough. Uh, I mean, we were mentalizing <laughs> in my head. We were in Senator Wally for a long time, so you have to yeah. understand that. Uh, Indeed. How, Matt, long did, what, how long did Senator Wally exist? We broke up more than we were together, <laughs> I think. Uh, that's the funny thing about Senator Wally is every show was a reunion gig. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's hard to say on and I, off. I think we were like 2000 to 2007 was when we were actually yeah. touring. Yeah, that's what the All Music uh, Guide uh, profile will say. Yeah. Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia. And, says that and this band officially started when? 2000. What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? It was around. T- it was in like. Was or, oh, this band? It was around yeah. lunchtime. Oh, yes. Jet Lawson. <laughs> okay. Like, I was eating my peanut butter the- and fluff. Well, Matt and I started jamming again after a mm-hmm. hiatus. I think it was last summer. Yeah. yeah. And just with no agenda, just saying, let's get together. Let's play some songs. Mm-hmm. You know, we miss playing with each other. <laughs> I've been traveling the East, you know, Hopkinton. <laughs> <laughs> get in touch with my roots. <laughs> so, well, so, so Matt just, you know, would 
come over and we'd just play some songs with uh, no idea what we were going to do. Just be like, okay, what song do you want to play? And, I had just got And I'd say Michael Lally. Jackson, he'd say no. Mm-hmm. I think my having acquired a banjo lately from a friend of mine who found it in his attic. That's, yeah. I yeah, that's I really, you know, we wanted to play him. some like uh, old hillbilly songs. Yeah. Uh, so we did. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, do you have a CD out now, or is it you can actually out, people can download the songs for free from uh, Tide Records. Okay, T I E D Records dot com. Yeah. You can the, also get the old Senator Watley recordings yes. on that website, which those recordings were actually mastered by another guy named Rob Kleiner, not me. Not yeah, Rob. Kleiner, yeah, I, I, I have some of that stuff actually. In, uh, and um, tell why me, don't you play it more often on the planet? <laughs> It's not up to me. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and what is? Tell me about Tide Records. Is that your label? Uh, sure. Yes. That's your label, Rob. It's it's a website um, that. Um, Don't be we, modest. We, we put music on there for free, so so people can can download music for free. Uh huh. That's uh, that's what we do. Specifically for for uh, I almost said Senator Watley. Specifically, you for failed to Rob- mention your 2009 Essence Award. <laughs> we have. Well, he he's very modest. Well, we we have a couple other bands on on there right now, but uh, what are they? They're uh, one guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have we have Ken Childs, and we have a few other a few other people that are, will be up on the site. Yes, in the next few weeks. their contracts are currently in negotiations. Yes, we have to talk to some of the company brass. Secure distribution and all that. Exactly, I understand. Actually, our company brass is made out of copper, so it's difficult. <laughs> It's an alloy. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's, let's play another song. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> this song I dedicate to you, Matt Connerton. Really? Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> this song is called "I Don't Want to Hurt You No More." Really? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Hit that's it. the nicest thing you've ever said to me. But the second part of the. How many things have I said to you? That, I guess a, a few. I, we. I don't think we've like ever nice actually to meet spoken. You. Um. Okay, so this is called I Don't Want to Hurt You No More. I Don't Want to Hurt You No More. All right. From Captain Chet Lawson's Snake Oil Review. Yes. On the planet's local outbreak. I don't hate you and I don't despise you. I won't curse your name as I walk out the door. I don't fantasize about your slow and painful death those kinds of fantasies don't get me off no more and yes it's true i'm leaving i'm going away but i hope you understand that i don't feel cold i'll appreciate the fact Oh, no. 
becomes a Local Local on the planet 100.1 New Hampshire's Modern Rock Matt Connerton in the RageRockRadio.com studio with two members of Captain Chet Lawson Snake Oil Review Thank you for holding that up for me Matt Thank You didn't you give him a chance it. to mess it up on his own <laughs> <laughs> So do you guys have anything else coming up? I, I know the, the June 26th thing sounds uh, like a pretty big deal Anything else you want to mention as far as shows or when the uh, album's going to be out or anything like that? Somebody please give us a gig <laughs> yeah, no, we don't have any gigs lined up uh, other than the uh, the live show at this point um, for the go go local. We're right. still tightening up the set, as they say. Do you guys have a hard time finding bands to play with around here? Because you guys are pretty unique in what you're doing. Um, actually, no. I mean, I I, I find most bands um, because we are unique uh, want to play with us sure. because we're not like threatening. you know they're like oh you're cute (laughs) the interesting phenomenon we discovered when we were senator watley as opposed to chet lawson was as an acoustic duo the number of metal bands and fans of metal bands that seemed to like us Mm -hmm. uh i i i guess i don't know enough about metal band culture to explain away that phenomenon other than that we're totally righteous (laughs) <laughs> but um, well, and, and and actually, with Senator Wally, the name of the album that we released was uh, "Requiem for Doctor Boogie and Sound Guys and Metal Heads, heads and, metal sound heads guys, and Sound Guys," because those were the only people yeah. who liked us. Sound Guys loved us. Yeah. Well, because it was easy to. It was easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you guys playing with Optic Rose, which was, of course, you know, a goth industrial duo, and yeah. it, it, the combination was strangely. Uh, we played with them a effective. few times. Yeah, yeah, they were scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're st- they're still growing. They're not uh, Optic Rose anymore, but they're still going strong. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they they're doing something else now. Yeah. But so, how do we find you guys online so we can download some of these tunes and? Uh, TideRecords.com. Okay, uh, we're on there. You can. There's a link for Captain Chet Lawson Snake Oil Review, and you can also get our Facebook page off of there. And, and once again, the Tide Records is T I E D Records.com. For for like two weeks, I was convinced this website didn't exist because I kept looking up T I D E. Oh, all I could find was laundry detergent. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> and, and people jumping over laundry detergent in longer and longer distances. Yes, yeah. that's exactly what I found. And we can find you on Facebook. What about on MySpace? You, you're on MySpace also? No, we, we boycott MySpace. Really? Now, yes. why is that? We don't like Tom. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, what's up with that guy? I mean, come on. Well, he, he, he wants he's to be sitting my there and he's sort of like pointing. He sort of has his back turned. Take a better picture. Yeah. He's really got an ego thing, you know. As soon as you you have a MySpace page, he's right there, and you can't get rid of him. Do you know why you that cannot is? Get it's a system him. glitch. Is it a system it's a, glitch? That's why it originally, yeah, system glitch. I don't buy it. it, it look it up. It's the man. Look it up on MySpace. Capitalist <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> to me, he just strikes me as really kind of needy. Yeah. You know, because he wants to be everybody's friend. He wants everyone to like him. Well, if he I calls me at home at like mm. two in the morning, mm-hmm. drunk. Mm-hmm. What you doing? You want to get Burger King? <laughs> Well, guys, you want to take the IQ test? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. What's with all the strippers wanting to be with my friends on Facebook? MySpace, I mean. That's why I moved from See, MySpace fa- to Facebook. Facebook doesn't I'm, have the strippers. I'm a happily married man. You're a halfway married. I'm a happily married man. Oh. If they keep talking halfway. about Ricky the drummer, maybe it will be halfway. But yeah, Ooh. all right then. <laughs> On to the next song. <laughs> On to the next song, guys. Thanks very much for being here with us no, this thank week. You for having us. Yes, thank you. And what do you guys? Wanna, nice guy. What do you guys want to play to finish up the show? And it's you. And it's you. This sounds like a nice song. Is it a uh, nice song? It's it's a love song. Is it? And yes. it's about. It's about my wife. Aww. Yeah, she wanted me to write her a song because. Uh, I used to write songs for a lot of other people, and she's like, oh, I'm going to write a song for me. That, that was her. Yeah, that's, you, not, that's not a romantic story. You should no, change that I'm going to get beat up when she, <laughs> when she hears this. Yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> you used to write some pretty nasty songs about women you had dated. Um, I've only ever dated my wife, Matt. You should okay. know that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Oh, come on. Never mind. All right. So this is And It's You from Captain Chet Lawson's Snake Oil Review. I did it without looking. Well done. On you get a thank cook, you. you get a cookie later. That's nice and a gold star. I hope. <laughs> no <laughs> gold stars. This is, this All right, this has been local outbreak on one hundred point one, the planet, New Hampshire's modern rock. 
Thank you, Hammer. We are finishing up in the RageRockRadio.com studio, and we will see you next time. Thanks, Hammer. It's you who keeps me from low in the start. And it's you who holds me close in the dark. And it's you who always loves me, always has room in her heart. Yes, I do. Nothing in this entire universe could tear us apart. And it's you who loves me the way that you do. And it's you. Gives my transgressions, looks the other way when I light a cigarette or have too many drinks that fall apart. I love you, yes I do. Nothing in this entire universe could tear us apart. I love you, always will.